Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make these super cool light up Haunted Mansion inspired ears. I actually made these for my friend Heather over at the Disney Housewife and she unboxed them for the Boo Ball. If you kept up with those videos, I will have it linked in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So for this project, you are gonna need two decals. I made these on my Silhouette machine using some really cool holographic vinyl. Um, I made Madame Leota and I did do the Foolish Mortals in the Doom Buggy, but that ends up not working and I just ended up doing the Hitchhiking Ghosts. You are also gonna need a purple feather boa. I had this on like a spool, but you can just get an individual feather boa at any craft store. You're going to need um, some tweezers as well as these clear ornaments. I get mine off of um, Shop Google. I will have them linked in the description box below. And I will tell you these are very hard to find. Um, you can also are going to need some LED lights. I'm using purple and I got these off Amazon. A one inch headband. I like these and I will have them linked again in the description box below. So to start off, you're going to take some transfer paper and just peel off your first decal. I did want to show you guys why this did not work. So if you use one that's too um, solid or rounded, sometimes it is really, really hard to get it to adhere to a round surface. So Madame Leota causes her own problems, but I was able to troubleshoot her. This I just wasn't able to make work, so I switched over to just doing the silhouettes of the Hitchhiking Ghosts, and these transferred on no problem at all. And I just did this with the same method of using transfer tape and then pressing them onto the front of the half of one of those ornaments. Adam Leota, if you look here, you can kind of see the issue is that in pieces it pops up like it's not able to lay perfectly flat. So I took these tiny little beauty scissors and I'm going in and I'm making little snips around spots where it's popped up and then I'm just pressing it down with my finger. This is my second time making these ears and um, the first time I learned this method and I will say the second time it was even easier. And this is what they looked like when they were all done. So now we're gonna move on to how you're going to light them. So I'm taking these LED lights and I do have 20 lights on a strand. So I am making sure to count off how many bulbs are gonna go into each ear and just wrapping them into kind of a circle, but it does not need to be perfect. I did not want all of the lights gathered up in one spot. So I kind of did it like this. And then I'm taking my feather boa and laying that down inside. I will tell you guys, I have made my original set of ears that I made like this. I actually didn't use these ornaments. I used the ones that you can find um, at Dollar Tree and Michaels that have like the little top that you pull off and that made it way easier for the boa and the lights, but it was not easier to put the decals on. So I guess it's just what you prefer. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of cramming in the feather boa and the lights and then going to close it, but all of the feathers kind of stuck out. Um, so what I did is I just kind of took my time trying to shove them back in there and then I actually just pulled um, at the ones that were sticking out, knowing that if any tiny little fuzzes were poking out, that that would be okay because my trim would cover it up. Um, but you do need to be very patient with these ears.
and ear, um, make sure you hot glue it closed. I'm gonna go ahead and add these onto the headband. So I am using my ear spacing template again. I have this linked in the description box below. And I just use this to find a good spacing on my ears. Um, some people can just eyeball it, but I like to be safe. Um, and then I'm applying a pretty good amount of hot glue um, to the bottom of the ornament. Make sure that that little eye that you would normally put the hook through is in the center. Um, you don't want that to be sticking out awkwardly on the side of your ornament. So make sure it is in the center where your bow can cover it up and then firmly hold down the ornament until it is completely dry. And then you're going to repeat this step on the other side and make sure that you um, pull the wire of your light over so that that all can be hidden underneath the bow. So this is the trim that I'm going to be using. It's just this really cute uh, black sequin trim. Um, my wire ended up on the wrong side. So as I was gluing my trim down, I realized that and just went ahead and took the wire and pressed it down over the edge of the ear where I knew the trim would cover it up um, just to get it out of the way. <laughs> and then I went back in and applied a thin line of hot glue and then tapped down my uh, sequin. bow just because I'm trying to keep this tutorial on the shorter side. I will have linked in the description box below how I like to make my bows when I need them to conceal a light switch. Um, but basically the important part is to leave this back part kind of open in order to shove the light switch into the back but also make it to where you can pull the light switch out to change the batteries as needed. And you can see me inserting it into the opening of the bow here. I will have a couple options of how you can do this including how to make a sequin bow again in the description box below. So now I'm just going to apply some hot glue down to the center bottom of the bow and then just firmly press that down on 